Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another week of our Gospel Reflections. We're now in the fifth week of our Lenten season. Today, our Gospel Reflection is for Monday, the 22nd of March. And so we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And our Gospel this morning is from John, it's chapter 8, verses 1 to 11. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. At daybreak, he appeared in the temple again. And as all the people came to him, he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman along who had been caught committing adultery. And making her stand there in full view of everybody, they said to Jesus, Master, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. And Moses has ordered us in the law to condemn women like this to death by stoning. What have you to say? They asked him this as a test, looking for something to use against him. But Jesus bent down and started writing on the ground with his finger. And they persisted with their question. He looked up and said, If there is one of you who has not sinned, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. Then he bent down and wrote on the ground again. When they heard this, they went away one by one, beginning with the eldest, until Jesus was left alone with the woman who remained standing there. He looked up and said, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she replied. Neither do I condemn you, said Jesus. Go away and don't sin any more. The Gospel of the Lord. This is an independent story in John's Gospel. And it comes hot on the heels of Nicodemus asking for a fair hearing from Jesus. And so we see in this particular piece of the gospel, the leaders, the Jewish leaders, bringing a woman to Jesus and having a hearing for her. I've always wondered two things about this particular gospel. The first is if this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery, then where is the partner? Where is the man? Why isn't he here in front of Jesus? Why isn't he also being accused of the sin of committing adultery? Secondly, I've always wondered just what it was that Jesus wrote in the dirt as he waited for the Pharisees to decide what to do. So we know that a woman, this particular woman, can get a hearing, but not Jesus. One wonders when Jesus bends down and writes on the ground after having said to them what he has said, that he does so so that those around him just have that moment of time to reflect on their own self-righteousness by pausing and writing in the ground, he gives those around him time to reflect on their own sinfulness. And having done so, as we hear, starting with the eldest through to the youngest, they start to drift away. And ultimately, no one condemns the woman. And so the hearing is over. The 
point about this gospel, as in other episodes throughout the scriptures, is that you cannot be a follower of Jesus without first admitting our own sinfulness. So in these final days of Lent, we might ask ourselves, what sins have I committed that I need to admit to Jesus before Easter? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining me at this new week of our Gospel Reflections. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Until then, take care and God bless. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.